Hi friends! <laughs> we are here to show you different ways that you can grow plants at home. Did you notice the weather outside? Even though it's May, and usually in May it's starting to get nice and toasty and warm, it's been pretty chilly. Do you think plants like to grow where it's warm or where it's cold? Cold. Hmm, I wish, because that means that we could start planting right now. But actually, Zeb, did you know, plants like it where it's warm. And so we know that our house inside is a little bit warmer than it is outside. Some days we're having warm outside, but we want days every day that will be warm. So we can guarantee that in our house. So we're going to show you different ways that you can grow seeds or different plants in your house. We went to the store and we went on a hunt to find all different ways to start. This one we thought was really cool. This kit, it's really important to make sure because every kit is different and every seed starter is different, it's important to read the directions on the package to make sure that you're doing exactly what that plant needs. So these are oyster mushrooms. Let me see if I can bring this up to you so you can see. Mama, those are oyster mushrooms. Oh, we'll talk about those in one minute. And this says, open the grow panel. I want to open the grow panel. Sebby, can you open this up? Thank you, Abby. Hey. Oh, thank you so much. It's a monster. Thank you so much. It's not the mountain. Okay. You're okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, of course. We have to, it says, open the grow panel. Go ahead, Sebby, can you open that up? We can touch this. Go ahead, open it up. And now it says, soak your kit overnight. So what we're going to do here, can you hold this for me? Thank you. We're going to put this in the tub of water. Zev, can you put this in our tub of water that we have ready right here? And we're going to soak it. Go ahead, put it right inside. We're going to soak it overnight. Then it says, put in a sunny place, because we know that all plants need sun to grow. Put in a sunny place and water every day. So Zev, we're just gonna actually leave this alone and then tomorrow we'll take it out and we'll find a sunny spot for it. And then we'll get to see. It says it takes 10 days to grow. We'll see. Will we have mushrooms in 10 days? What do you think? Yeah. All right. Over here, we are going to grow strawberries. Now, I have my directions for the strawberries. And it says that we need to add some water to these pellets. I so, would add... Zevi, can you please pour some water. Yeah, actually, you know what? You can just pour it right into here. Why? Pour it right in here because what's going to happen is we have these pellets and these pellets are compacted grow material. So this is where it. we're going to grow our seeds. So once we add the water, our pellets are going to expand. We want to get them nice and wet. Why? Why, Dami? The pellets will expand as they absorb water. Let's add a little bit more water. Excuse I add Abby. a little bit more. I'm gonna give you, cause look at, wow. Check out our pellets. They were small and hard. And look, all of the water is gone. Zev poured this whole pitcher into this and it's already soaked it all up. Look at that. Wow, check that out. Let's use a little bit more water. I don't think we need much, just a little bit more. Thanks, Avi, for that help. Okay, don't use the whole thing this time, okay? Okay. Let's move these things out of the way so everyone can see what you're doing. I didn't do this. Awesome. You do a little bit more. Awesome. All right. Nice. It now, look like what happened. It turned into dirt. It turned into dirt. Our pellets expanded, and now we have our dirt. Dirt. Okay, so let's move everything out of the way so that our friends at home can see. We need these. Oh, yes, those will show them too. And we have our pot. Three, now, two. Zevi is going to put, it says, pour three-fourths 
of this in. So we need almost all of it, but not quite all of it. So can you start filling it? Let's do, do handfuls. Yeah, there you go. I'll do that. If you would like to get a handful, sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, here. Are you all done? Nope. So then let's clean our hands at the end. We'll clean our hands at the very end. Get, let's go nice and slow. So that way we can save all of our growing medium. We want to make sure that we have it so that the strawberries have some soil to grow their roots into. Mustaches. From mustaches are in. All right. Now, Zev, you save the rest. Now, Zev, can you roll up your yeah. sleeves for me? Or actually, would you like me to do it since my hands are clean? Yeah. I'll do it. You know what? We're still actually going to need dirty hands. So don't worry. Just keep them over the table. And now it says, open the seed packet carefully over a paper towel. The seeds are very small and they're easy to lose. <gasps> Sprinkle them evenly over the growing room. Okay, so here, what we need to do is we're going to open this up, but we need another paper towel. And I'm going to do this part right here. I bet you won't even be able to see it from up where you are. Let's see. Opening it up, these are strawberry seeds, and they're so teeny tiny. Oh my goodness, wow. They're very, very, very small. And there's not very many, so we'll have to be very careful. All right, let's see. Are there any in this side? Just want to make sure that we're not missing any in the creases of the packet. Okay, so now we have them. And they're so teeny tiny. They're right. They're very easy to lose. And now we are sprinkling them in. I'm going to get them in the pot. And we need this to use this. Then we put it in there. Then we... That's a different one, yeah. Then we do it in there. All right, I think we have all of the seeds inside. And now it says... Put some water. Finish, put all of the rest of the growing medium on top. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull. And then it says, just like our oyster mushrooms, the strawberries need a sunny spot to grow. So we're going to have to find a sunny place. Sorry, Evie. We're going to have to find a sunny place in our win in one of our windows to put all of this. Let's leave it a little bit. We don't want to pack it down. All right. Awesome. Thanks, friends. Now let's move this over by the mushroom since we're finished with this one. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. And we are ready for our next thing to plant. We're going to be planting tomatoes. So we have in this kit tomato seeds and we also have fertilizer spikes and fertilizer is like food for the plant. This is what the plant uses to eat. So what we're going to do first is we need to add one cup of water to the soil. So we have here a measuring cup or a mason jar and it has measuring lines. And this says right here, one cup. Let me show you. W one cup. So Zebby's gonna fill it up to one cup. Oh. Let's I leave this. Don't open it yet. Leave it, please. I will, I will, I will you close it. it. Thank you. And if you need more, I have extra water right here. Is it one cup? Is it one cup? Let's see. Let's look at the measuring line. This is, says one cup right here, so you want to fill it right to this line. It's okay. You can leave it. Thank you, A.B. We'll do this one next. Now, A.B. is going to pour the water is into here? this. A little bit more. Here. There you go. Perfect. Look, right on the line. One cup. Now, A.B., can you carefully pour it into this jar? I want to go ahead. You don't have to hold the jar. I'll hold this jar. You hold the water. There you go. 
awesome. Look at all the water soaking right into that soil. That's great. Okay, now what we want to do, I'm looking at the directions, and it says we want to push it's getting six to eight of these. Yeah, the water's getting your hand off. Six to eight of these seeds. We don't want to push them too far down because if we push them too far down, it's going to be very hard for them to sprout out. We want to make sure that they're right close enough to the top, but still protected by a layer of soil. Wow, these tomato seeds are small. Can I hold them? Let me see if I can hold them up to the camera. If I can get close enough for you at home so you're able to see our teeny tiny tomato seeds. Can All I right. pour them? And Zevi is going to take a seed, see that seed, and push it right inside. Push it into the soil. There you go. And go ahead, baby. What? Push it right into the soil. Go ahead. We're going to push it in. You want to make sure that they're covered still. All right. And now we need to find let's water it a little bit more we need one fourth more water and what we're going to do is one fourth cup so that means right here just a little bit perfect okay i'm gonna pour it all right and now i'm going to cap it and this one too says please find a sunny spot for me and don't forget to keep watering me so all of our plants we need to keep an eye on to make sure that they have water and that they have sunlight so now we're going to move our this guy to the side and our last our last way of growing things inside these are called starter pellets and ab has been explored oh we forgot one thing oops let's go back these are four. I want to put them in. Can I put them in? Of course you can. Oh, for me? These are our fertilizer spikes. And these, I believe, are for the mason jar. So what you want to do is that these are the food for the plant. Just stick them right inside. There you go. So the tomato plants have some fertilizer, some food in their soil. We can't forget their food. Are we done? Yes. And now last but not least, we have starter pellets. Starter pellets. Today we have some spinach. We have hot peppers. So we have sweet pepper seeds. And we have cucumber seeds. Do you like cucumbers? Yeah. So what we're going to do is you're going to need to pour water into this, into the starter pellets. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. So I I'll fill this up. Vulgar. You're very strong. I want to do it. I know. Go ahead. You can pour it in slowly, please. Make sure each pellet gets. All right. Man. More, please. Let's just wait and see how they do. We want them to expand. They're going to get bigger. These small pellets, just like that soil, these small pellets are going to get expand and get bigger. We wanted to show you the pellets expanded up close. Check it out. Now, instead of those small, teeny, tiny, hard pellets, they're these big, fluffy pellets filled with a growing medium with almost like a soil. Now, we have our cucumber seeds, sweet pepper seeds, spinach seeds, and hot pepper seeds. And Zevi, do you remember what these little white tags are for? What are these white tags for? Do you remember? The things we're growing. Yeah, to mark what we're growing and where. So that way we know when they start to sprout, they're all going to look almost very similar. A little green sprout. So we want to make sure that we mark right where we're, which ones, what plants we're growing. So the first step is to peel back the top yeah. of the netting yeah. and to loosen the top of the soil. We're going to do a whole row of cucumbers. So, you can wipe it off. Well, we should leave it on because then we'll know what plants are growing. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put like, I would say about four seeds per palette. No, we don't know the, these ones. You wiped them off? That's okay. We'll rewrite them. And then we want to make sure that they're covered. So we're going to cover them with the soil that's inside. Then we're going to take the label and we're going to write the word on the label and we're going to stick it right inside so we know what's growing. The next one, now we're going to take the next one and we're going to plant our sweet pepper seeds. I'm loosening my soil and I'm going to put about four to five seeds inside and remember they need food, water, and space. So I don't want to overcrowd the seeds. So I'm only putting about five seeds per pellet, covering it up with the soil. Awesome. And then I'll put my label in that says sweet pepper. Next is my spinach. I'll loosen up the top, move it to the side, and put in about four to five of these teeny tiny spinach seeds and cover them up. I'll make sure to make my tag to label it spinach. And last but not least, we have the hot pepper. I love hot peppers. I love putting hot peppers, making salsa. I'm going to make my own salsa with these sweet peppers and hot peppers, putting some seeds remembering that I don't want too much soil on top because it will be difficult for the sprouts to grow. So if you hold on one second, let me just cover them up. Okay, Zeph, go ahead. You can put that in there. Oop, I see one peeking out. I want to make sure that he's still under the soil. All right. So we're going to make a whole row of, row of cucumber, sweet pepper, spinach, and hot pepper. And hopefully we end up with these beautiful vegetables. I hope you find ways to start planting in your house or even outside in your garden. Have fun.